Okay, welcome to the next part of the video. I literally just finished recording the last part two seconds ago. I was so excited to finish this mission that I couldn't even take a break in between. So I'm back here at Mercury. We just arrived. And we have nine hours and 32 minutes of oxygen left to get down and land on the base or else we all die. Talk about cutting it close. I brought two crew members with me. Had I brought one, we would have had a, we would have had uh, plenty of air left over. But I didn't think it was uh, terribly exciting to have just one crew member um, on board, so I brought two. All right, let's uh, let's finish this up. Let's let's get let's get down there and see what we've got to do. Um, first of all, let's bring up map MFD and reference uh, Mercury. It's already referenced. Let's target the base which I don't know what it's called, just Mercury Base. And I guess we're not really close enough yet to have an accurate orbit plane around Mercury. We have a uh, an inclination of 139 at this point. And we need to be mm, basically equatorial. So we want to bring our inclination so that it's more like 180. I don't care if we're retrograde or prograde, but either way, the base is right on the equator, so we want to we want to change our inclination a bit before we get down there. <clears throat> okay. Actually, how do we, how do I do that, or how do I do that from this point? I don't really want to warp time forward until I'm within Mercury's SOI and then change the plane. It would be cheaper to do it out here. Um. Rotation. Let me think about this for a second. Translation. Okay, so it looks like if I go orbit plus... No, oh wait. That's relative to the sun. I can't use the autopilots this far out. Rotation. It's affecting my inclination, but something tells me that's not exactly what I want to do. Maybe. Translation. Rotation. I think this is right. I just have to watch my minimum altitude because I, as I change the plane, it's going to either raise or lower my minimum altitude depending on which side of the 90 I have this on. And I want my minimum altitude to be pretty low because Mercury is, you know, similar to the Moon. There's no, no atmosphere to speak of. This is taking a really long time. Of course, I'm not using much fuel. get this to the other side of 90. <laughs> there we 
Okay, then I'll bring the altitude down. But not too low. Go with that. I'm not sure if I'm doing that right, actually. I can't use prograde. Translation. Rotation. Okay, let's move closer to Mercury. Oh, crud. Gotta watch that time warp. Oh, that was a close one. I almost ran right into the planet. I guess I should have started that plane change sooner. Eh, oh well. I have to do some prop, some more base alignment when I get around the planet because I can't glide obviously down through the atmosphere. There is none, so I can't line up with the base that way. Anyway, all right, we'll deal with that after we after we get into orbit around Mercury. Okay, now let's set that up. So transex. Maneuver mode on. And we want to do this burn not now, but when we get to periapsis. That's going to be at this number. So not far away. 9831. We'll go with that even just a second or so sooner. So five one, okay, that's right. Now we know this is going to be a retrograde burn. So it's gonna be all negative prograde. And it's gonna be a lot. bring up view set up on this side and view focus it just makes more sense to me view maneuver yeah we got plenty of fuel left cool <clears throat> Okay, so target no base, target. Okay, something like that. So we've got our burn coming up 
in a little bit and we're going to have our minimum altitude hopefully around 19,000 meters or 19 kilometers, 20 kilometers roughly. So let's view maneuver. And I believe we're within, yeah, we're within the SOI auto reference. Yes, HUD. And this is going to be 6,100 meters per second. So you can see just how much it costs to get uh, slowed down to get into an orbit around Mercury. But this is a bargain compared to what it to what I spent on my first few missions, first couple missions to Mercury. Probably only, I think I only did it two other times before I was making orbiter videos. Okay, so let's go retrograde. Okay, come out of time warp now, turn retrograde off. We're gonna do the burn, still 10 minutes out. I'll also mention that if your Mercury looks a lot different than mine, it's because I'm using a different texture for um, a different, uh, yeah, I guess it's called textures or meshes, textures, a different texture for the planet Mercury, just because I don't really like that default uh, orange color or whatever it is. I, I think I read somewhere that this color is more accurate. I'm not sure, but I believe I believe I read that this color is more accurate. In any case, I think it looks better. Fast forwarding time. Get down to the time close to do the burn, come back to real time, go retrograde again to get the autopilot settled. Okay, turn retrograde off. Warp time forward a bit more. And there we are. Let's get rotated. <clears throat> Gonna do the burn in just five seconds on my mark. Mark. Burning. While that's burning, let's check our oxygen. We have six hours and 50 minutes. Plenty of time. <laughs> I will warp time forward to get through the burn quicker. But let me watch orbit, projection ship, distance, PEA, APA. Warping time forward. Watching my PEA carefully so I don't crater into, into Mercury. Coming up on the lowest point of the orbit. PET is 35 seconds. Rotate closer to uh, the center position there for the green X. PEA is now 21.8 kilometers. Still counting down a bit, that's fine. Just don't want it to get much lower than about 20 kilometers. I'll warp time forward to get through the burn quicker. Okay, we're getting coming up to the end of the burn. We're captured. Uh, hang on here, I'm confused. Let me actually kill the burn because we're PET is getting ahead of us or behind us. I'm not sure which way you want to state that. But whenever the PET PET starts to climb, then we uh, want to kill the burn because we'll just drive our PEA down if we don't. So now I can go retrograde and kind of eyeball it the rest of it. I don't even need transex anymore. And are you kidding me? Why? Okay, well, good thing I've got State Saver. Let's hope it saved recently. 421. 
have no idea why Orbiter just blew up on me. It's warning me that I'm low on rocks. Okay, so back to retrograde. And we can turn maneuver mode off over here. Don't need it anymore. Let's look at map MFDE. We're basically right over top the base in, in, a, in a sense. Okay, coming up to periapsis, let's go forward a little farther. Go forward a little more. We'll get a fairly circular orbit, not concerned if it's perfectly circular, but we'll get mostly circular at least. Translation. Overshadowed a bit. Let's round things out a little better. There we go. Okay, now we are in orbit around Mercury, and we have very little time to actually get landed because we'll run out of locks. And we have uh, 4.2 kilometers per second of main fuel left. So we're good on fuel. But we have uh, we, we need to get landed. We only got six hours and forty five minutes left. So let's uh, let's go ahead and see how much farther we can get here with the time that I got left on this video segment. Let's bring up base sync. I do like base sync for this purpose. Closest passage is what we want. We want uh, on equator direct. We want direct, and we want to target. I think I just called it Mercury base. Yeah, and I'm four hundred and. 19 kilometers out from Mercury base, and we're going to try one orbit. So we'll come around here to this node, and we'll do a plane change maneuver to try to get more lined up with the base. Hopefully we can get it all on one pass. I really should have done this, should have done more of this when I was out farther. Looks like we'll get it though. We only need a 20 second burn total. That's quite a bit, but Get it. And it tells us that we need to be rotated to normal plus. You can see that plus sign there. That's PLC plane change. Let's use the autopilot to speed up that, uh, get the autopilot settled back to real time. So when this is, TN is 10 seconds, because that'll be half of that, and we want to balance the burn, one half of it on that side, one half on the other side. Okay, we're getting close to that point. Turn off the autopilot. And engage the main engine. Rotation. Now I'm going to manually rotate the vessel to keep it aligned with that uh, so that my so that my altitudes aren't affected too bad. Coming up to the end of the burn and done. Go back to prograde to bring up orbit MFD to see how we did. We lost a couple kilometers on our PEA, but overall not too bad. Alright, let's uh, keep map MFD up open on one side at least. Spaceport, Mercury, base, bring up the comm nav, start dialing in the base information. Go for the long range beacon. This is going to be 11630. And again, I copied this straight from Brighton Beach, so all these frequencies are the same. So 11630. And we'll go for landing pad number one, 13220. Mm -hmm. 
do a quick save at this point now that we're in orbit around Mercury. And as usual, go halfway around. When this number stops counting up and then starts counting down, we know we're halfway around. It's counting down. Bring up orbit MFD on this side so we can watch our PEA. And we'll do just like we do on the moon, we'll bring it all the way down to the ground, more or less. Right there, one kilometer is good. Turn retrograde off. Now let's check base sync. Let's target Mercury base because it forgets all the time what you're targeting. And we will not pass another node. We already did pass, so I should have done the check there, but that's okay. Translation. It's very close. We can just translate. To get that last little bit of difference to the base. Uh, this might run over 30 minutes. I'm at 21 minutes now, but I think I'll go ahead and just finish this mission in this video rather than have a new part that's only five or ten minutes long. Just doing this off base distance correction. Want to get it down to where it's at least, you know, four or five hundred meters, not three, four kilometers. And it's going up as I go around, so I'll bring it all the way to zero. All right, there we have it. Okay, let's don't need this anymore. Let's bring up VOR VTOO. Actually, yeah. And let's warp time forward. When we get to when we're, we're within 500 kilometers, we'll have this information on our MFD. Five thousand, four thousand, three thousand. Two thousand. A little bit further to go. You are cleared to land. Okay, now things happen quickly, so let's go retrograde. Let's bring up, well, let's not bring up surface HUD yet, but let's bring over this view, APU on. Let's open the stuff that needs to be opened so we don't forget about it. Retro doors, hover doors, put down the landing gear. No need to wait. And gear down and locked. Let's put in to we need 173 kilometers to break rotation quite a bit more time than what we need on the moon so we need to get rotated Using the full power of the main engines, of course, we need 173 kilometers to brake. If we're not using the full power of the main engines, then we, need, we require more distance. But it's more efficient to use the maximum thrust. We'll pitch up a little bit above the horizon so that the when we start sinking, we don't drive ourselves into the ground. Again, we're looking for 173 kilometers. We're almost there. I'm watching the distance here. I guess I can watch it here as well. Burning. I think I started that a little a little early. Bring up VOR VTOL on this side. So I can keep an eye on the vertical speed. Vertical speed is increasing, so I'm going to pitch up a little bit. Just to counterbalance the uh, descent. Put in a little bit of rotation for pitch. That way I'm steadily pitching up as I slow down. Looks like I need to increase that. A little more pitch. A little more pitch. 
little more pitch. And it's starting to go the other direction. And we're breaking into Mercury. I can see the base way off there in the distance. Switch nav. Information. This one will come up in a second. I guess I don't need the AP on, do I? And there's our landing pad. 22 kilometers to go. Still moving at 900 meters a second. There, the base is clearly in view now. Kind of pitching the other way now. I don't want to climb. Seven kilometers to go. One thousand. I think I see Mars in the distance. I do. We're almost there. Getting ready to kill the main engines. Warning. Main fuel low. Kill the engines. Engage the. How much fuel do I have left? Seven hundred and fifty meters. System reset. Eight hundred. Okay. Seven hundred. Uh, yeah, altitude hold. Translation. Rotation. Okay, I like to rotate forward so I can see where I'm going. Translation. Rotation. Translation. Because I don't exactly have tons of fuel to burn, it's to spare. Rotation. I've gotta hurry this up or I'm gonna crash. Translation. Okay, let's move forward faster. No time to dilly dally. Not at the rate we're burning fuel. And this is the default configuration. meters a second. Oof, hurry up. Okay, we're near the center of the pad. Good enough. Okay, and we're just going to have to engage auto land because we don't have time, we don't have Rotation. fuel to burn to spare to uh, 500. do this manually. Translation. 400. Let's see if we can get centered a little better though. 300. 200. 100. 75. 50. 193 40. meters per second left. 30. 180 meters a second left. 20. We are on fumes. 15. 10. 8. 6. 135 five, meters a second left. Four, We're good. 3. 2. 1. Wheel, wheel stop. Wheel stop, 76 meters a second left. Look at that, 0.05, or rather 0.5%, uh, 60.9 kilograms of course. We had the RCS. I should have transferred some of that over sooner, but there in, in the last few seconds of the, of the landing, you don't really have time to you know do that. But we're good, look at that. And we are pretty much smack dab on the center of the landing pad. You can't hardly beat that, 0.42. That was pretty exciting. I rather enjoyed that. So that completes the journey, obviously, out to Mercury. We made our trip from uh, Cape Canaveral all the way here. Now, obviously, we're not doing a return trip with the amount of fuel that we've got left. I knew before I left that it was a one-way trip. Uh, so we have to make the assumption that once we arrive at Mercury, if we want to go back home, we 
have the resources here on Mercury that we need in order, in order to fuel ourselves back up. If we wanted to plan the whole trip to uh, come to Mercury land and have enough fuel to go back home without having to refuel once we got here, then obviously we could not use the default uh, XR2. We would have to come up with some other plan, uh, maybe send a, a cargo vessel ahead of time to uh, drop off some fuel, uh, but just, but obviously just bringing the XR2 here by itself uh, can't be done uh, and, and go back home on, on one fuel tank. You just can't do it. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Um, I, obviously the last couple parts were probably a lot more interesting than the first couple of parts. But again, I do think that people like to see, some people at least, like to see the setup. You know, they like to know the thought process of, and, and all that. So I'll go ahead and leave it at that. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you enjoyed the series, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, let me know. Hit the, hit the dislike. I've got thick skin. I don't care if you dislike the video or not. Uh, if, you're not, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you do like my content, uh, please do subscribe to the channel. I always appreciate that. And I do have a Facebook page where I post all my videos and I put other, up other pictures that you don't see on my YouTube channel, various articles and other space-related content. So you might want to check that out as well. Look for the link down in the description. That's it for this series. I'll see you next time. Okay, welcome to the next part of the video. I literally just finished recording the last part two seconds ago. I was so excited to finish this mission that I couldn't even take a break in between. So I'm back here at Mercury. We just arrived. And we have nine hours and 32 minutes of oxygen left to get down and land on the base or else we all die talk about cutting it close. I brought two crew members with me. Had I brought one, we would have had, a, we would have had uh, plenty of air left over, but I didn't think it was uh, terribly exciting to have just one crew member um, on board, so I brought two. All right, let's, uh, let's finish this up. Let's, let's, get, let's get down there and see what we've got to do. Um, first of all, let's bring up map MFD and reference uh, Mercury. It's already referenced. Let's target the base which I don't know what it's called. Rotation. It's affecting my inclination, but something tells me that's not exactly what I want to do. Maybe. Translation. Rotation. All just Mercury base. And I guess we're not really close enough yet to have an accurate orbit plane around Mercury. We have a uh, an inclination of 139 at this point. And we need to be mm, basically equatorial. So we want to bring our inclination so that it's more like 180. Uh, I don't care if we're retrograde or prograde, but... Either way, the base is right on the equator, so we want to we want to change our inclination a bit before we get down there. <clears throat> okay. Actually, how do we, how do I do that, or how do I do that from this point? I think this is right. I just have to watch my minimum altitude because I, as I change the plane, it's going to either raise or lower my minimum altitude depending on which side of the 
90 I have this on, and I want my minimum altitude to be pretty low because Mercury is, you know, similar to the moon. There's no, no atmosphere to speak of. This is taking a really long time. Of course, I'm not using much fuel. Could get this to the other side of 90. <laughs> I don't really want to warp time forward until I'm within Mercury's SOI and then change the plane. It would be cheaper to do it out here. Um. Rotation. Let me think about this for a second. Translation. Okay, so it looks like if I go orbit plus... No, wait. That's relative to the sun. I can't use the autopilots this far out.